On May 16, 1998, Azita Malanyan was jogging with her dogs on a mountain trail in Altadena, California. An avid runner, Azita is dedicated to her daily ritual. But earlier that day, Azita's schedule had been repeatedly interrupted, and as the day wore on, she decided not to go for her daily run. When I finished, I said, it's getting too late, maybe I'll just go to the gym. And uh, so I drove by the gym, and it was just feeling so sad suddenly, and I know when I feel sad, I have to go running. As soon as she started her run, Azita began to feel ill and decided to go home. While leaving, she found her dogs gathered around a strange patch of brush. Let's go! As Azita attempted to drag her dogs away, she was startled by a noise in the bushes. I heard like a cat noise, like a meow noise. And uh, the two pointy things po poked out of the ground. Come on, let's go! Let's, come on, let's and go! And I was screaming from fear, I was shaking. Terrified, Azita ran back to the car with her dogs. But before she could leave, something drew her back to the strange spot in the woods. As I bending down and I'm looking what it is, and I look at this thing, it looks like a little baby feet. I just started moving the bushes and I dig with my nail to move the dirt. After a few moments of digging, Azita uncovered the surprise of her life. In a panic, Azita flagged down a passing motorist who went to alert the authorities. Azita returned to the infant, desperately hoping that he would stay alive until help could arrive. I was yelling, please God, please, please, don't let him die. And he grabbed my wrist and he just ne didn't let go. It was so strong that I, it was just like telling me, don't let me go. By the time park rangers got the baby to Huntington Memorial Hospital, he was suffering from hypothermia. Dr. Ricardo Lieberman is the director of the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. When the baby arrived to the hospital, he was critically ill. It was essentially a miracle this baby was alive at the time the baby was found by this uh, lady and then brought by the paramedics to the hospital. Dr. Lieberman and the hospital staff named the baby boy Christian. The baby quickly recovered and was adopted by a loving family. There is no doubt that Azita's being guided on her run that day saved the precious life of a little boy. I truly believe it was a miracle, and if it was not of a higher force like God, neither me or anyone else would have had found this child, and he would have never been alive to experience a love that he's getting from his new family. <laughs>